so waste water treatment plant treatment of waste water involves physical chemical and biological processes which remove physical chemical and biological matter that contaminates the waste water it means student in the previous video we have learned that in a waste water there are physical biological and chemical waste so to clean this type of water we treat it with chemical physical and biological treatment so first point waste water is passed through bar streams large objects like rags sticks cans plastic packets napkins are removed so here student you can see that in the figure some large waste are removed to a bar stream now next point water then goes to a grid and sand removal tank now in the second step water goes to the grid and sand removal tank the speed of the incoming waste water is decreased to allow sand grid and pebbles to settle down so student here you can see that in this way grid and sand are removed in the next step the water is then allowed to settle in a large tank which is sloped toward the middle solid like faces settle at the bottom end are removed with a scraper and this is the sludge a scraper removes the floatable solids like oil and grease water so clear is called clarified water so student in the third step some solid waste are settled at the bottom of the tank and some undissolved waste like oil and grease are the float on the surface of water so in this system this type of waste is called sludge so after clearing the water is called clarified water now next so here student you can see that clarified water this sludge is transferred to a separate tank where it is decomposed by the anaerobic bacteria so after the third stage student this type of sludge is transferred to a decomposed up by the anaerobic bacteria the biogas produced in this process can be used as a fuel or can be used to produce electricity so in this step student biogas are produced from the decomposed and this gas is used as a fuel now next step air is pumped into the clarified water to help aerobic bacteria to grow in the fourth stage student in clarified water we add air to growth of anaerobic bacteria and bacteria consume human waste food waste shops and other unwanted matter still remaining in the clarified water so in the fourth stage student if remaining waste is in the clarified water so anaerobic bacteria remove this waste and after several hours the suspended microbes settle at the bottom of the tank as activated sludge and the water is then removed from the tank and after an hour bacteria are settled at the bottom of the tank and water is then removed from the tank so here student you can see that in this picture bacteria are settled down and after some hours 
water is then removed from the top. The activated slurge is about 97% water. So, the water is removed by the sand, dry bags or machines. Dry slurge is used as manure, drinking organic matter. Now, the activated slurge is about 97% water and the water is removed by sand, dry bags or machines. So, student, in the first stage, the activated slurge, it's about 97% of water. So, this water is removed by the sand drying system. Dry slurge is used as a manure, retaining organic matter and nutrients to the soil. So, after dry slurge is used as a manure in the field. The treated water has a very low level of organic material and suspended matter. So, it is discharged into a sea, a river or into the field. Nature cleans it up further. Sometimes it may be necessary to disinfect water with the chemical like chlorine and ozone before releasing it into the distribution system. So sometimes stuff, uh, sometimes student chemical system is also used to clarify the water and in which we add some chlorine and uh, ozone tablets for clearing the water. Now next, next topic is about becoming active cylinder. Waste generation is a natural part of a human activity but the eliminatory type of waste and quantity of waste produced often we have been repelled by open since then. So the sight of open waste is a disgusting and the situation. Situation persons in the rainy season when the rains start overflowing. So sometimes student to we also refer to the garbage, some spray or drains. And in the rainy season, I think almost all drains are overflowed and they, uh, they have a very bad smell. We have to wear through the mud pits, poles on the roads, most of unhygienic and unsanitary condition prevail. Flies, mos flies, mosquitoes, and other insects breathe in. So at that time, some flies, mosquitoes, and other insects are coming on this. We can be an eliminated citizen and approach the municipality or the gram, gram panchayat insists that the open drains be covered. So also you are request to gram panchayat or municipalities of your cities and uh, to say them to uh, cover this drain. If this uh, sewage of any particular house make the neighborhood dirty, you should request them to be a more considerate, considerate about others. So sometimes the, our neighborhood also create this type of problem. So at that time we consist them. Next topic, better housekeeping practices. So what step we could take for better housekeeping? So first, on the, on the one of the way to minimize or eliminate waste and pollutant at their source is to see what you are realizing down the way. So first, cooking oil and fat should not be drawn down the drain. They can harden and block the pipes. Student cooking oil and fats are very hard and sometimes it uh, block the brains. So in an open drain, the fats clutch the soil, pores reducing its effectiveness in filtering. 
further. So, throw oil and fats in the dustbin. Do not throw in a drain. Second point, chemicals like paints, sugar, insecticides, motor oil, medicines may kill microbes that help purify water. So, do not throw them down the drain. And these type of chemicals are to kill microbes, so they purify water. So, do not uh, throw them down in the drain. So, here is what we can see then in this picture. Use the TVs, solid food remains, soft toys, cotton, sanitary towel, etc. should also be thrown in the dustbin. And some solid waste also should uh, throw in a dustbin. Do not throw in a road, on the road or on an open area. And these waste chop. The drains, they do not allow free flow of oxygen and this hampers the degeneration process. So, student, remember that the, uh, there are three steps how to keep our house clean. Next option, sanitation and disease. Poor sanitation and contaminated drinking water is the cause of a large number of diseases. So, let us look at our own country. A vast number of our people are sick without sewage facilities where do they live themselves. So, a very large fraction of our people reflected in the open on dry river banks, on railway tracks, near face and many a time directly in water. And untreated human extra is a health hazard. So it may cause water pollution and soil pollution. Both the surface water and soil groundwater get polluted. So groundwater is a source of water for banks, tube banks, springs and many rivers as you learn in the chapter 16. So thus it become a most common route for waterborne disease and they include cholera, typhoid, polio, malignations, hepatitis and dysentery. So student remember that this type of activity do not do at the river in the directly the water or on the ground level. So, it may cause some disease like all this. Next topic. Alternative arrangement for savings disposal. To improve sanitation, low cost on-site savings disposal system are being Encouraged examples are spreading tanks, chemical toilets, compositing pits. Spreading tanks are suitable for places where there is a no sewage system. So, students, this type of pits and tanks are useful in a place where there is a no any current. For hospital, isolated buildings, or a cluster of four to five houses. Some organizations offer hygienic on site human waste disposal technology, and these toilets do not require sprayaging, etc., from the toilet seats flow through covered drains into a biogas plant. And the biogas produce is used as a source of energy. Now, next topic: sanitation at a public place. How to sanitize the public place? In our country, fairs are organized periodically. A large number of people participate in them. 
and in the same way with this vision bus depots airports hospitals were very busy places so that thousands of people visit them daily and a large amount of waste is generated here so it must be disposed on properly otherwise epidemic could break out if we do not uh, remove this type of waste carefully so epidemic condition also break down the government has laid down certain standard of sanitation but unfortunately they are not strictly enforced so how will all of us can contribute in maintaining sanitation at the public place we should not scatter litter anywhere if there is a no dustbin inside we should carry the litter home and throw it in the dustbin if anyone is not allowed a scatter litter so also we carry it us and after use to or throw in a dustbin next and the last topic conclusion of the whole chapter we all have a role to play in keeping our environment clean and healthy so you must realize your responsibility in maintaining the water sources in a healthy state adopting good sanitation practices should be our way of life as an agent of change your individual Immediately, we make a great difference. So, influence otherwise with your energy, ideas, and optimism. A lot, a lot can be done if people work together. So, there is a great power in collective action. So, student, from this chapter, we learn that how to clean a public place, our home, and our schools so also try to follow this instruction and clean our environment in our life thank you